Rams, welcome to Big House Town TV. How's everything at home? Are you and the family okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Thank you. Uh, so today, we just thought we'd bring you on just to talk about yourself, really. Obviously, you started your kind of long career at Brighouse Town, um, which is why we've asked you to come on to Brighouse Town TV, just to talk a bit about your time at the club. So what was your first kind of initial reaction when you, you were getting told you were going to be joining the club? Um, my first like reaction was like, um, I've never been into a men's dressing room before. I was excited to see the challenge. Like, I couldn't re- wait really, like, really excited. Excellent, good. Um, and your kind of centre-half partner at the time when you joined us was Kurt Harris. Um, and I don't know if you've seen the news recently, but he's now our new captain. Um, what was it like playing alongside Kurt Harris at centre-half? Um, Kurt helped me a lot, really. Like, obviously, he's never played, like, non-league before. So, like, learning from him, his experiences, and he's a, like, really good leader. So, I'm happy for him. He deserves it, really. And hopefully, he can kick on from here now. But it was a really good, like, he's really good at what he does. Yeah, excellent. And what were your favourite memories from being at the club? Um, I think the whole group, the, the staff, everyone, like, Really nice people, helped me a lot. Um, obviously, joining a team that was near the top, so energy and like the vibe around the place was buzzing, so it helped me a lot, really. Excellent. Uh, how much did Bill have an influence on you as a player in terms of trying to develop you? Um, a lot, you know. Like He helped me with like my winning mentality. So before, obviously, playing 23s a lot, I didn't really... Obviously, it was about developing yourself. Obviously, if you win, if you win you're happy. But if you lose, it's more about develop, development. So I think like that loan helped me and Bill helped me wanting to win games, win every game. So, yeah, I think that's what he helped me with a lot. And what was the major difference for you between playing at academy football and starting to play at open age football? Um, it means a lot more, obviously, playing for three points, playing for the league, obviously, what we, were, we were going for the league at the time, playoffs, um, academy football, it's like, um, obviously, there's a league system, but there's always our... Uh, you can develop this. If you lose at, like, Brig House when you were there, you're fuming because team's catching up. You might not get promoted or not. So, yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, I'll take you back now to, to last year, um, a few days ago last year, over at Pontefract, playoff final. What kind of memories do you have from that day? Um, probably, looking back at it, it's one of the best things Best days, like, in my career. Um, winning that, obviously, us not going up that day. But it was just a great day out. Went there. Obviously, they beat us twice that season. So, they probably thought they were going to turn us over. But going to Pontifex and winning 3-0, it's um, a great day, really, for everyone at the club. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, so... From leaving us, you went back to Uddersfield, um, and then your next kind of loan spell has been at Bromley. Um, how was the step up from you from being at Brighouse then going to Bromley? Um, stepping up to Conference Prem was was hard. Obviously, the boys again were like lovely boys, made me feel like welcome straight away. Um, gelled with a lot of them. I think the step up is it's a lot faster. Yeah. Pitch, pitch is a lot nicer. Uh, yeah, but I think that like, the tempo is a lot faster. Like everyone's at, at it, I'd say. Okay, and then from then you then managed to get a move up to Swindon, uh, who at the time were at top of League Two, um, close to getting promoted. What differences did you see then from being at Bromley to then being in the Football League? Um, 
there's not that much difference, I'll say. I think it's just some um, players are a lot more smarter. Um, physically the same. But I think, like, say, because I play centre-half, strikers' movements are a lot, like, it's better because that's why they're in the Football League, I'd say. So, I say they're a lot more smarter than someone that's playing in conference prem. Yeah. Let's talk now about that Tuesday that Tuesday morning when Danny Carley told you that you're going to be starting, making your debut for this field against Charlton. What was going through your head at the time when you got told that? Um, I felt like, like um, I was buzzing. Like I've been waiting for this moment all my life. And then to finally get given the chance, charting away, like to do it in front of my mum, my family, my mum, dad, sister. It's just like a great feeling, really. Like a feeling that I can't explain. That doesn't sound good. Um, what advice would you give to any kind of young pro player like yourself who might be looking to get that low move out to gain some valuable first team experience, some men's football? What advice would you give to them if they are looking to do that? Um, go in there with the right attitude. Make sure that you want to learn because if like you have to go there to learn, that's the reason why the loan the loan is happening. So make sure you want to learn and take the experience and make sure you enjoy it really if you have to enjoy football so make sure you enjoy it want to learn and take the opportunity when it comes excellent rams thanks for joining us pal hope you're keeping safe and well and all the best for your career in the future thank you cheers